The NASCAR Monster Energy Cup Series will go to the Sonoma Raceway in Sonoma, California on Sunday, June 25th for the 2017 Toyota St. Mart 350. This race will be broadcast on Fox Sports 1. The Toyota St. Mart 350 is the first of two road course races to be run in the Monster Energy Cup Series. This race was first run in 1989. Sonoma Raceway opened in 1968 and it is also known as Sears Point and Infineon. It is a 12-turn road course that is 2.52 miles or 4.05 kilometers long, starting with an uphill climb to the left turn to turn one, then a sharp right turn at turn two where the field can get bottled up very easily. There is a danger at every turn of Sonoma as there is not much room for these stock cars to go and things can get jammed up in a hurry. This track used to be a place where teams would call in ringers or road course specialists, but the Cup Series drivers have gotten much better here, so there's not much need for them anymore. Last season, Carl Edwards won the pole here and led 24 laps, but the win went to Tony Stewart, who led 22 laps. Next was Denny Hamlin, who led a race high 33 laps, while Joey Logano, Carl Edwards, and Martin Truex Jr. rounded out the top five. It was Stewart's first win of the season, and it would turn out to be the final win of his career as he retired at the end of 2016. It was Stewart's third win at Sonoma, which is second only to Jeff Gordon's five wins here. Ernie Irvin, Rusty Wallace, Ricky Rudd, and Kyle Busch have all won here twice. Before Tony Stewart took the title last year, it was Kyle Busch winning in 2015, Carl Edwards in 2014, Martin Truex Jr. winning in 2013, and Clint Boyer winning in 2012. Four of the last six winners at Sonoma have started 10th or lower as teams are taking more chances staying out on cautions and trying to turn it into a fuel mileage race. For our pick and prediction, we'll go with Kurt Busch, who finished 10th here in 2016 and won the 2011 race. He has an average finish of 14 and a half in 16 starts, and with a win at the Daytona 500, he can go for broke, which he probably would have been doing anyway. For more information and statistics on this event and every other sporting event this week, check out bangthebook.com. Bang the Book is your best resource for sports betting information before you make your weekly assault on the sports books.